congratulations, you're still my agent. What's up guys? In today's video, I want to compare a few frunk struts. And, and this isn't necessarily anything new to you guys, uh, but I did find a set not to use. First, I want to give props to Brian from i1 Tesla. He uh, figured this out about five months ago, and when I saw his video, I was going to do it, uh, but I was afraid that I was going to bend or, or warp my hood, and I guess you could say I, I chickened out. Um, I mean, how could you possibly chance warping this hood? I mean, why would Tesla not add these frunk struts to the cars from the factory? Uh, it makes it super easy. You hit a button and the frunk opens. Uh, so I thought there was a reason that they didn't do it uh, or they knew something that we didn't know. Uh, so basically I chickened out. And the funny thing is, is on my red model three, I wasn't worried about lowering the car and changing the springs or or debadging it ripping off the emblems or or uh, putting aftermarket wheels on it um, or doing a chrome delete uh, so it's weird that I was just so worried about changing these front struts um, but I wasn't about to change those front struts because I was afraid it was gonna warp the hood Beats me. but then after seeing Michael's video from Tesla Tunity where he installed the EV Annex struts, it reminded me that I needed to give that a try again. It reminded me how useful of a, of a small modification this is. So I did it. But instead of going with the EV Annex struts, I went back and looked at Brian's old video and I went back and I looked on Amazon and I found the Strongarm 6304, the Jeep struts that Brian mentioned in his first video. And uh, here are the ones that I bought off Amazon. I'll link to them also in the description of the video. But you can see all the details about them and, and these are the exact ones that Brian uh, installed on his, uh, on his white Model 3 five months ago. And he's ab absolutely had no problems with them at all. They came in a few days later and I put them aside and basically I forgot about them again and I didn't put them on right away, not because I was chicken, but because basically I forgot. So fast forward to this past Monday and I met up with Andrew, who is the current owner of the red uh, Model 3, my old red Model 3, number 89, and uh, we were gonna do some filming. And I mentioned to him that I had bought these Strongarm 6304 struts, and uh, he showed me the ones that he had bought. So he went out and he, he went out and popped his hood, and yikes. So as you can see, his hood bounces pretty strongly uh, once it gets all the way up, and it also doesn't slow down as it's going up. And to me, that's not, that's not good. And uh, I asked which ones he had bought, and he showed me. So I went up and looked at it, and it was not the same ones that I had bought. He bought a different set off, off Amazon, and uh, the reason he had bought those is because the Strongarm 6304 struts were on back order. Here's a side by side of his and mine at the same time, and you can clearly see the difference. Notice how mine slows down as it goes up, and it doesn't bounce near as much as his. Uh, I would not be comfortable with the ones that, that he bought. Uh, so I thought that this is a good opportunity to show you guys which ones not to buy. He sent me the link, and here they are. I want to show you guys these, that way you guys don't make the same mistake. Uh, they look like knockoffs, and, and while they're the same length, uh, they don't function in the same manner. And the ones that I bought aren't much more money uh, than those, and, and they work great, and Brian from i1 Tesla can attest to that. If you guys are going to buy some frunk struts, buy the Strongarm 6304 ones. Here's what they look like. You can see the sticker here with the exact part number. Or I guess you guys could go spend $50 on the EV Annex ones. They certainly look nice and they looked good on Michael's Tesla Tunity video. Uh, but to me, it's not worth the difference. They're basically the same strut and Brian even showed in one of his videos that they're the same. Uh, and it's not a knock on them. It, if they wanna sell them, it's certainly their right to do so and they look like nice struts. Uh, but if I'm choosing, I would rather spend less 
and, and get the same result. Maybe it's just me. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If you guys want to change your front struts, go out and buy those strong arm 6304 struts and get your front, get your, get your, get your front on. And get your front on, or yeah, or whatever. See ya!